pop Auntie Carly, and I wanted to do one more group today. A group that has um, a fair amount of votes for it, but not like if I'm going strictly on votes, not the one who's going to be the highest rated. I wanted to do a, I want to expose myself to another K-pop group and NCT is the group that has the most votes, but that I have not yet reacted to. Does that make sense? Good, great. And I am aware uh, that NCT is has a lot of different subunits in it, and they do a lot of different performances. And NCT Dream is one of those subunits. However, that is also their, the song Dream is the, or Glitch Mode, rather. The song Glitch Mode is the uh, song that has the uh, most votes for the one to do next under NCT. All right. I think they have a lot of members, right? I think that is, um, this is the group that has a lot of members in it, thus all the subunits. Otherwise, I don't know anything about them. I don't, uh, know when they debuted, uh, the age range, what's going on with them lately, um, their usual style, nothing. Actually, I, in learning about them through the comments of people asking me to, um, it, asking me to react to them that the the subunits are broken down not just through like the vocal line or the rap line and stuff like that but kind of more of the kind of music that the subunits themselves do and i was told that uh dream is kind of the um less less mature crush type songs <laughs> so we'll see if i like it or not i am way out of the crush phase of my life <laughs> it's been I, I, I was never a huge have a crush on you person um, when I was younger, and I am definitely not young anymore, so doesn't mean it won't be a relatable song. Uh, who should I thank for this? I don't think I wrote it down. I, a couple of my patrons, you know who you are, um, asked, <laughs> asked, for, uh, asked for this one, which is one of the reasons it got shot up the uh, list. If you're a patron I and you ask on on Patreon about these uh, songs, your vote counts more than others. Sorry, everybody else. <laughs> All right, NCT Dream, Glitch Mode, Volume, great, right about there. And I'm gonna watch it twice, once without the captions on, just so that I can watch their MV. I've never watched an MV from them before. I don't know what to expect on the um, aesthetics side of things as well as list just listening to the musical arrangement and their voices it'll all be a first for me and that's way too much to absorb while also trying to um actually understand what the lyrics are about glitch mode a title like glitch mode i would think the title the uh lyrics are something about if this is supposed to be kind of like a crush type group that have more relationship songs, I'm guessing that they're getting sent into glitch mode by another person. We'll see. Welcome aboard. Interesting. I'm gonna guess this is maybe universe based. I've Yeah, no way. Bring it back. First impressions, okay. <laughs> First impressions, okay. I actually had to bring it back and check that choreo because I'm like, I'm sitting here on this. The first time they did it, I was like, huh. Second time, I'm like, is that a um, visual, like a cinematography effect, or are they actually that smooth with their dance moves? So I need to watch that again. Um, musical arrangement, I'm intrigued. I, I, I like the musical arrangement so far, and their voices have me interested as well, so... I gotta watch the choreo again, hang on. Scratch that, bring it back! They are piss on each bone A mommy go to nass on me And urgent, urgent, urgent look I'm digging that deep, just kind of bass back there. It's an interesting tone in his voice. Hey, hey, 
I'm a bit crazy. Drunk, I'm not a good hazel. Don't you know, into my mind, I'm fucking buzzing away. Wait, 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 wait
glitch mode and what do i think this is about i'm not entirely certain the mv itself helped me out a whole lot um i don't know if that's a little bit more universe based uh you'll have to help me out like educate me in the comments um i have no idea what their universe is obviously they, they seem to be in like some sort of spaceship in one setting and obviously like a store in the other setting so i don't know if there's like these two different versions of them um but I did catch up on some English in there, and it sounds... I heard, like, reputation and stuff, so I don't know if it's this uh, concept that... There's, uh... The guy's got a different kind of reputation and then maybe meets a girl, in this case, I'm guessing, or just a relationship in general, in which they kind of sends the guy on a, the glitch mode because it's not the normal, you know, so he's kind of glitching out because it's like, like, not, he's not used to this, not acting, he's just acting like it or whatever. That is what my basic idea of the lyrics, my, my mini assumption would be going into it, but it could be something completely different. Like I said, I, not sure. I don't think the MV helped me out very much with the actual, um, what could be going on here. <laughs> All right, diving in though. I did notice the text message and it's the uh, like where are you and all that stuff. Oh there yeah, I was gonna uh, remark as far as I could notice, that's like actual choreo because I was trying to I was trying not to focus on one thing too much because I when I'm trying to focus on one thing it I, I can't really pay attention to anything else. So it looked like it wasn't just an actual run back, like like a loop. It looked like it was genuine. I was trying to actually like watch certain body parts and stuff to see if there was a different, you know, slightly different movement that would have ticked me off to it being um, a run back loop or actual choreo. And I'm guessing it's actual choreo. I mean. Scratch that, bring it back. Which is pretty wicked. Oh, sorry, I was watching the choreo again, trying to—I was trying to catch movements again, and I could—I wasn't actually reading the lyrics. I'll tell you, uh, when I'm in front of you, glitch mode. My whole body freezes, reload. My head is spinning, spinning, migraine. Again and again, I'm in glitch mode. Never happened situation. You or only you. You you or only you? Reputation? Repetition. It was repetition, not reputation. Okay, repetition. Alright, so, yeah, glitching out in front of somebody and kind of... Yeah, I think... I think not everybody, but you probably certainly had situations, even if it's not somebody that you're romantically interested in, but like some sort of, you know, figure that you kind of, to a certain extent, idolize or look up to, and you kind of go, <laughs> go into glitch mode, you freeze or something, and you're like, uh, uh, uh what? <laughs> yeah. Trouble, trouble, like a miscode. Emergency alert, the buffering. I'm on that glitch mode. Dangerous engine sound, never experienced. Pit a pat. You come closer. My breath stops, my heartbeat accelerates, go speeding up. This feeling, no words can get enough. Watch my would be crazy, can't fight this hands up. I can't recover, the one punch ransom slams into my mind. Nice. Alert, alert. This is a fatal situation. Shutting me down, system unresponsive. They say I'm too much. A sweet rain shower that you're bringing. These little sprouts soon become the forest. Growing up to heaven. Touching on the sun. Try as I may, you grow in me. Trouble, trouble, like a miscode. Emergency alert. I'm on the glitch mode. Yeah, and I do see the uh, story being told on the uh, text messages. Oh, where it's uh, see you at seven, and then now uh, later on in the evening, where are you and stuff. Still a great role. Good job. Yeah. 
Code is buffering. Color of the scene. You, your beauty is clickbait. I'm going straight to you, autopilot in the air. A brand new formula you are. I can memorize every detail of you. I was dreaming of you the whole night. Oh, I didn't notice that he tossed that and it landed right in the, um... Obviously, that probably wasn't him actually tossing it and landing right on the shelf, but still, good stuff. A dream without you is a nightmare. Aw. <laughs> Here we go, glitch mode. No worries, one little error. I like it. If this is love, okay. Slightest touch, my mind goes blank. Unfamiliar senses take over. There was no you. There was no me. Emotions are hovering in this place. Everything that's not you, get out of the space. So, yeah, that's very sad. It is now 7 p.m. and they're not there. It's very sad. Uh, but yeah, it seems like the, the vocals kind of, you get a little bit more of a cohesive thought process in the vocals because they slow it down and sing it. And, you know, they pick it up with more hype and the more rapping style. You get the, you're getting a lot more, um phrases you know you're not getting kind of more full sentences as the vocalists are getting out as it's more you know a few words at a time here and there you kind of chopped up so you get more of the story with uh, the vocalist all right everything that's not you get out of the space yeah this is my favorite uh part of the uh First run through here, switching it up like that. I don't know that reference. <laughs> 299, 792 per second. Light speed, bass, drop. Robot, blast, start off. Light speed, bass, drop. Alright, so, yeah, they're basically describing how the person makes them feel, you know, and that it's, yeah, feeling like you're not quite, like you're not quite, um, the, I guess I don't really live, yeah, like it's, yeah, I, I, it's a good way of putting it. Like, you're glitching, like you're buffering, like you're kind of, you know, st you know, you're stuttering and you just can't put sentences together. You can't act normally, you know. You're, like, that That happens around people that you're kind of uh, nervous around. You know, it's a, and like I said, it doesn't even have to be a romantic relationship to understand how that feels. To be kind of, you know, acting a little bit weird around um, people that you idolize or look up to in some way but yeah definitely it is expounded one it's somebody that is that you're attracted <laughs> to as well um and that's a pretty good way of trying to put it into words and it seems like it's a song about you know young guys asking like this this kind of feeling and behavior and everything like is this love you know that was one of the lines you know is this what love is you know this uh, feeling of like not being able to operate <laughs> properly when I'm around this person like is that is this what love is and maybe maybe not you know that's you won't know until later you know there's a there's a lot of situations in which you can like I said you get that way around people that you just look up to or people that you think are really attractive but you find out are crappy people later and then you're not all jittery around them anymore <laughs> you know it's just so maybe Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. All right. I am interested in NCT. Whichever subunit, non-subunit, whatever. Uh, because I like this. Like, even though, yeah, it is kind of like a crush song, first possible, first love song. I, I really like the sound of it. You know, it's... Cat. That's Doc. Hi, Doc. Do you need to be held? Yeah? Okay. Um, Doc wants to be held, so I am going to go hold Doc. Yes, I see you. You're a good boy. Uh -huh. This is your on-screen cat time for all you cat lovers out there. You're a good boy. All right. Let's... Thank you. 
I will catch you all later. Don't step on my keyboard. Good boy. And you all have yourselves a wonderful day.